This is Realme's most powerful smartphone, the Realme X2 Pro. Realme's first flagship killer. Get this, Snapdragon 855 Plus processor, 12 gigs of RAM, 256 gigs of ROM, a 90 hertz Super AMOLED display, 64 megapixel quad camera setup, 4000 milliampere battery, and the best of all, Super VOOC flash charging technology right here on their newest phone. And by God, is it so affordable? Yeah, all of that for under $500. Boom. Actually, for me, it's probably the best specs combination I've ever seen on a smartphone. It is that incredible. Yes, the specs here are probably even better than the Redmi K20 Pro or the Xiaomi Mi 90 Pro. Depends on where you are. But yeah, this is it. The Realme X2 Pro. But is it actually good? We're about to find out right now. And without further ado, let the unboxing begin. No. All right, here we go. Let's check out the box. Rumi X2 Pro, there's your all new design. Actually, it's a big phone, 6.5 inch. Let's check it out. By the way, it's available right now at Shundi. Check it out down below. All right, we've got here the mini box. Hey, welcome to the Rumi family. Just kidding. We've got here um, uh, some Chinese papers because it's only available right now in China. Got it shipped. Hopefully it's going to be available right here in my country and also at your country as well. Quick start guide, the warranty card, I guess, and your standard jelly case, transparent. All right, here's the phone. The color I have here is called Lunar White. There it is. Roomy, funny placement, but let me just put you aside for now. What else is in the box? Oh my god, here is what I've been waiting for. This is actually the first time they've actually put a Super Vogue Flash charger right here. This is the 50 watt charger that is faster than the Huawei Mate 30. Wow. They said it's only about 30 minutes to charge your phone from 0 to 100%. And the uh, cardboard, USB Type C cable, and finally the SIM jacker pin. And that's pretty much it. All right. And Here's the phone. Let me just slip this off. Oh my god, that just looks so gorgeous. It's just that, why is the logo placed right here? Like, it could be placed right here or at the center. I'm not sure why it's actually here. Yeah, I can't complain. It's a very good looking phone. This right here is made out of glass. This is Gorilla Glass 5, so it's, so it's very durable and scratch resistant, which means you don't have to use this protect the phone so it's pretty okay with it being naked just like this so yeah put it in your pocket put it in your bag and you don't have to worry that is the great thing about the Gorilla Glass 5 and yeah that is quite a grip very nice material the sides and the whole frame is made out of metal so it feels so solid this is a very heavy phone and quite chunky as well but I gotta tell you I actually like the design more than the Redmi K20 Pro well it's because it's simplistic it actually looks much more expensive than the K20 Pro which is maybe cool looking but not as premium looking as the Rumi X2 Pro so take that Xiaomi now the back is pretty much like the Rumi X it's wide curved and yeah I needed to put this out just to compare. Holy crap, that is copy paste like almost everywhere. This is the Redmi Note 8 Pro by the way. Seriously now, like why? The only difference is the logo placement. Funny, right? It's the most original design I've ever seen from a phone. <laughs> Now here's something you haven't seen yet. A 64 MP camera, holy crap. And guys, it's four cameras, plus one at the front. That's five cameras in total. So right here, we're getting full flagship camera specs. That is 64 MP main sensor, 13 MP telephoto lens, eight MP ultra wide angle, and a two megapixel depth sensor. So pretty nice. The big question is, are the cameras really good? Because I've actually reviewed the XT and the camera's not that good, but yeah, the problem is different right here we'll have to see now here's where things get a lot more interesting a flagship phone with a headphone jack oh by the way it has Dolby Atmos so yeah better listening experience and as always microphone USB type C port your loudspeaker again Dolby Atmos there's actually two speakers right here one down firing and one front facing you also get a microphone at the top at the left side you get the volume rockers and at the right side you get the power button and the sim tray oh darn it non-expandable storage but yeah you get two dual nano sim slots and that's it that's a bummer so probably get the highest variant available the 256 
graphics ROM variant. Now the biggest selling point of the phone is actually this, the display. This my friends is a 6.5 inch 1080p Super AMOLED display with a 90 hertz refresh rate plus HDR10 plus and get this. The brightness is just about 10-20% when you take it up. Boom! That my friends is 1000 nits of brightness. Just incredible. It's one of the brightest displays I've ever reviewed. It's definitely useful when using the phone under direct sunlight. So, so far, this has been blowing me away. Now the type of the display they put here is just incredible. There's absolutely nothing like it for under $500. This is by far the most affordable 90 hertz display you can get at the market right now. Just look how fluid that display is. Holy crap, the whole display is just super sharp and colors are just on point. It's not too saturated, although it does pop out some more than your traditional IPS display. The screen is huge. Now here's the thing, that 90Hz display is pretty useless when playing video or playing games right now on the phone. Well, simply because there's actually no content out there that's optimized for 90Hz consumption, if you know what I mean. On YouTube, it only maxes out at 60 frames per second. When it comes to quality, color, and overall, sharpness. This my friends is such a beast. Viewing angles are just really good. No dimming at extreme angles. That is certainly what you want on a great display. Plus the bezels are pretty thin. Also the chin and on the notch part. But it's not as thin as the Mi 90 Pro or the Redmi K20 Pro. Those are very thin bezeled devices. But still, this is quite impressive. Now here's what I'm talking about. Gaming. Guys, playing games on this thing is just a joy. This is actually the main reason why we'll buy the phone and why you would want that 90 hertz display because everything is going to look super smooth, super fast. Of course, this is the main reason why you rewatch the video, right? Snapdragon 855 Plus processor, 12 gigs of RAM, 90 hertz display. Guys, I'm playing at HDR graphics, extreme frame rates. I got anti-aliasing turned on, so check that out. That is the graphics you're gonna get for the Rumi X2 Pro. Well, in terms of the speed, it's not actually the fastest phone I've ever reviewed. That goes to the ROG Phone 2 because of that 120 hertz display. Right here, it's the next best thing. And also, whoa, whoa. Holy crap, that is so smooth. I don't know, you might not feel it, but I do feel it. This video is at 60 frames per second, so please do change to that FPS so that you'll feel that smooth motion. I'm telling you right now, it's a totally different experience. You have to experience it for yourself, but be careful. Once you go 90 hertz, there's no turning back. Like, if you go back to a 60 hertz display, everything is going to feel very slow, very jaggy. Oh, oh by the way, the graphics is just totally amazing. No doubt about that. It is the best processor out there. Combine that with a very nice display, Super AMOLED, and yes, everything just looks totally amazing. Plus, they actually did not mention this. The display is very responsive. It wasn't included in the specs, but right here, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling the extra response rate. Something gaming phones only has over other phones. So that is nice to know. No ghost touching. Guys, I've been playing for 30 minutes already and it's getting warm right here, but not so hot. And whoa, what is this? That is the brand new game space, which you can just pull down to reveal extra features or toggles like screen recording. You can even display the FPS. That wasn't there before. Holy crap. And you can even see the battery percentage right here. CPU usage. And let me just check the sounds. It's very boomy, very clear. That Dolby Atmos is just kicking in. And of course, the game that everybody has been playing right now, Call of Duty Mobile, it's not lagging at all. It's like super optimized for the game. You can absolutely go to very high settings, max, frame rate, and pretty much all the other settings right here are unlocked. This is the best of the best of the game, and you're able to play it because the phone is super powerful. And that response rate is just really helpful, especially on games like this, where precision and dexterity is pretty important. That's why some people play on mouses and keyboards, so that's cheating. Oh, by the way, here's the N2 to benchmark score. It's big. What can you expect? Although, it's not the best score, like, ever. I actually got a 500,000 point on another phone, but still, very much important. Impressive. This is also the first time that Rumi has imbued a phone with SuperVOOC flash charging. This, my friends, is a 50 watt charger. How fast can it charge the Rumi X2 Pro? 5 minutes, 23%. 10 minutes, almost halfway. 15 minutes, 20 minutes, 81%. Now that 
is fast. And at 28 minutes, 100%, it is by far the fastest phone to charge from zero to 100, even beating other phones that use SuperVOOC fast charging technology. Now, I think this is my most favorite part of the review. That is 64 MP quad camera. This is actually the first time I've reviewed a 64 MP camera that is actually good. And I'm happy to tell you that the image quality on the phone is just amazing. It is truly flagship cameras on this phone. The level of detail, sharpness, dynamic range, and overall image quality you're gonna get with the cameras is just one of the best out there. Let me just demo right now the Ultra 64 MP. Let's take a picture. No loading. Oh my god. Now this is a true 64 MP image. Here's the first zoom, second zoom. Let's zoom all the way. And as you can see, there is still so much detail retained even when you zoom in so close. Now that is what I'm talking about. Here's another special feature of the phone, portrait. So there's actually an adjustment right here that shows the bokeh percentage and it's pretty okay. But that's not all. You can actually apply the bokeh in video mode. There's the setting. Boom. And there you go. Active bokeh. Oh my gosh. That is excellent. Also, I'd just like to point this out. The Rumi X2 Pro, like, you know, any other phone, has nightscape mode. No surprise there. But get this. The selfie camera has nightscape mode as well. And it's loading. It, it works. There you go. A very sharp image in low light. That is incredible. It's actually the first time I've experienced night mode on a selfie. Also, you get some ultra macro mode, even though it does not have a macro lens. It actually works pretty perfectly, even without a dedicated macro lens. And of course, it has an ultra wide angle lens. Yes, it's very versatile. And finally, this. This one setting right here, this one mode, which I thought was exclusive to the Oppo Reno 2, is also here. The ultra steady mode, which brings you super stabilized video. Yes, this, my friends, has EIS plus OIS combination, so take that. And yeah, the Oppo Reno 2 does not have 4K at 60 frames per second, so you can shoot video up to 4K at 60 FPS, slow mo up to 960 FPS, and it even has an expert mode. And look at this. You can change lenses. All right, wide angle lens or macro lens, telephoto, and your standard lens. So man, it pretty much has everything. All right, so here are my thoughts and the pricing, of course. It's only under $500, already told you that. It is by far the best bang for the buck gaming phone or camera phone or whatever out there. It pretty much demolishes all flagship phones. Well, simply because it has all the essential stuff that a consumer needs. Like really, you don't need the S Pen or curved screens or reverse charging. You don't need that. All you need are great cameras, a great display for gaming, super VOOC flash charging, all the essential stuff, all made more powerful and much more affordable, all in one, right here, the Rumi X2 Pro. Guys, I highly recommend this phone. Rumi has totally given it to us, and hopefully they'll put this out in the market soon, because everybody, well actually you, deserve the best. Up next, on Tech Beans, Rumi X2 Pro, plus Rumi XT, Rumi 5 Pro, and the Rumi 5, an all-in, complete battery drain test, Rather, real me battery green test coming right up, right here at Tech Beans. So don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon so that you don't miss it. This is Vincent McGrew from Tech Beans, and I'll see you on the next video.